Hi, my name is Sarah Webster, and I'm the inventor of My Brush Betty, which I invented simply because I hated cleaning my makeup brushes. One by one by hand, which is how virtually everyone recommends that you clean them, whether you're doing a deep cleaning with soap and water or a light cleaning with spray and wipes. Did you know more than tens of millions of makeup brushes are sold every year around the world? Tens of millions. That's because the makeup brush is the most commonly used tool to apply makeup other than the hand. In the United States, about 85% of women own at least one set of makeup brushes, and about 30% of women, myself included, own what I'll just describe as a whole lot of brushes. And women hate cleaning these brushes for the same reasons I did. It is an icky, time-consuming chore. But if you don't do it, the dirt and bacteria on dirty brushes can cause and aggravate acne and other skin conditions. So I simply found a better way, and it's totally based on science. My Brush Betty is the first ever shaker bottle, specifically designed to clean a whole handful of makeup brushes at one time, safely, quickly, and thoroughly. Again, safely, quickly, and thoroughly. Simply add your soap, fill the container with lukewarm water to the waterline mark, drop in a handful of dirty brushes, secure the lid, and then shake for just one full minute. Just like you're mixing a salad dressing, a gentle rhythmic up and down motion. When you're done, dump the dirty water and then rinse and repeat with clean warm water until the water runs clear. And then, believe it or not, you're done. Dump your brushes onto a towel, pat or blot off the excess water, and then set your brushes to dry on the beautiful angled mat, hair side down. It is super fast, super easy, and super effective. The secret or unique feature in this patent pending device is the cleaning disc that's seated in the twist off bottom. It has soft but firm nodules that gently glide in between brush hair when brushes are shaken inside. And that does two important things. It helps the soapy water to freely circulate around all the brush hairs, but more importantly, it prevents the brush from doing this, splaying. This is what would happen if you tried to shake your brushes clean inside a container without the cleaning disc. The brush would repeatedly hit the bottom of the container and the hair would spread apart or splay. And over time, the splaying would damage your brushes, as you can see here. But with the cleaning disc, the nodules actually reach into the quick of the brush toe and at the perimeter, they serve as a barrier. And that helps to deaden splaying. And it really does work, as you can see here. And that makes this method of brush cleaning incredibly gentle. In fact, I would argue it's even more gentle than hand washing, where you're rubbing and scrubbing and squeezing and pulling on the wet brush hair. But the very best part about My Brush Betty is how thoroughly it cleans your brushes. Whether a brush is made with real natural animal hair or synthetic fibers, that hair typically has a microscopically rough or textured surface structure. That's actually what enables the brush to pick up makeup particles and deposit them onto the skin. In real hair, that structure is called the cuticle and it's made up of tiny scales. And synthetic hair is usually made to try to mimic that cuticle. But this same feature is also what makes brushes so dirty and difficult to clean. Once makeup and facial oil and dirt and bacteria have settled in those little crevices, it can be very difficult to remove. The great news is this form of agitation is superior at shaking loose tiny particles from inside little crevices. That's because when you shake the container back and forth, you're actually creating a process called cavitation inside. What that means is that the back and forth turbulence creates little pockets of air or air bubbles. And every time Time one of those bubbles pops or collides on itself, it sends a little vibration or a shockwave of energy through the water that's highly effective at shaking loose tiny particles from inside little crevices. It is the exact same process that's used in an ultrasonic cleaner to clean the crevices of jewelry, but instead of using high frequency sound to generate the cavitation bubbles, you're mechanically creating them by shaking the container in the same up and down direction as the brush hair. It is extremely effective, which is why it it works so quickly. You can take the densest brush covered in the most difficult to remove makeup products and My Brush Betty will clean it beautifully to the densest centermost part of the brush.
And if there's a brush that you don't want to shake clean for some reason, even though it is perfectly safe for your brushes, for example, I don't recommend that you shake clean retractable brushes, where the brush head either descends into a cavity or a sleeve comes up around the brush head, simply because water could get trapped in between the movable parts. You can still clean that brush by removing your twist stuff bottom, adding soap, and washing the brush under a running faucet. And because the way you dry your brushes is just as important as the way you clean them, my brush Betty also comes with this flexible angle drying mat that allows brushes to be dried on a slant, hair side down. That allows water to drain out of this middle part here, which is called the ferrule. And because it also elevates the brush, it allows air to circulate around the whole toe of the brush head. And that helps to speed up drying, which is another big complaint women have about cleaning their brushes is drying time. Conveniently, the mat rolls up in stores right inside the container for an elegant all-in-one kit that cleans and dries your makeup brushes. I also offer two superior products with My Brush Betty. My Brush Betty Brush Bubbles and My Brush Betty Reshaping Gel. Now you can use almost any kind of soap inside My Brush Betty. You can use hair shampoo, shampoo made for brushes, hand soap, or even dishwashing liquid. But I wanted to offer a product that I knew removed the toughest to remove makeup products from brushes. The kind of products you usually have to remove with olive oil before you can even wash them with soap and water. So long wearing foundations, sticky concealers, cream blushes, waxy lipstick, and gel liners, and this product really does fit the bill. It is a non-toxic, hypoallergenic, biodegradable, coconut-based mineral soap. It is a powder and it is the bomb. It will remove all of those products, no olive oil needed. I also offer My Brush Betty Reshaping Gel. Now synthetic brushes are made by man and science to hold their shape. So when you're done washing a synthetic brush, simply reshape the hair with your fingertips and set it on the mat to dry hair side down. But the majority of brushes on the market today are still made with real animal hair, primarily goat. And when you clean real animal hair to the cuticle, it tends to become very full, just like human hair. I wanted to offer a product that reshaped that brush hair but also had beneficial properties. So My Brush Betty Reshaping Gel is a special blend of organic aloe and witch hazel in a glycerin base. It's very viscous so you just need a dab of product to reshape the brush hair. The aloe is lightly moisturizing and has antibacterial properties and the witch hazel is an antiseptic which makes a dry off on this product really clean and clear. There's no residue left behind that interferes with makeup application. When the brush is dry it'll be a little firm to the touch, just like when you use gel in your hair. Simply massage the brush to release the gel's hold and you're good to go with a wonderfully clean, fresh smelling makeup brush. Together, this is a complete, comprehensive, and I believe premium brush care system unlike anything on the market today. My research, my data tells me beauty lovers have been waiting for a solution like this for years, and you haven't gotten it for one pretty silly reason. Nobody has taken the time to challenge the old, outdated, incorrect, conventional wisdom that a makeup brush should never be submerged in water. Well, I've done the research, from the handles to the ferrules to the fibers to the glue, and I've also done the product testing, and I can assure you it is perfectly safe to submerge a brush in water for short periods of time. I myself have been shake cleaning my brushes for almost a decade, and I've tested the full spectrum of brushes on the market, from the cheapest pack you can get at any pharmacy to the most expensive luxury brands, and I can assure you that my brush buddy cleans brushes safely, quickly, and beautifully. I've had a ton of fun developing this product. I can't wait to get it to market. I hope you'll partner with me to make that happen because this much I can promise you. Once you've shake cleaned your brushes, you are never going to hand wash them ever again. Thank you so much for your time.